Hey guys, it's Alice. So for today's Freelance Friday video, I thought I would show you how I made this couple's portrait commission. It's something I've never tried before. I'm using Procreate and Illustrator and Photoshop. So yeah, if you're interested, keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe because I do videos like this every single Friday. And oh, before I forget, I actually have new merch up on my Etsy store. So if you haven't seen that, please head over to my Etsy store. I'm shipping the pre-orders tomorrow, Saturday the 10th. So be sure to go and check those out. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. So like I said, I'm using Procreate and I'm using my Apple iPad Pro. I'll leave the link to everything down in the description. And basically what I did was I had in the top left hand corner the photo that I was using for reference from my client and I'd been on Pinterest and Instagram and got some inspiration. Um, I've never done a drawing like this so what I did was kind of sketch it out first with the pencil tool and then I went over it with like a gel pen tool. These are all tools and pens that were already in Procreate um, and I just really enjoyed trying something different to be honest and luckily for me my client was very up for me kind of experimenting so here you can see the final outlines and then I just went back in and filled in some extra details such as the eyes and yeah I was just kind of winging it at this point and then what I did was filled the different spaces and added a banner at the bottom and kind of got the skin colour, the hair colour and everything right. You'll see later on that I ended up changing the hair colour, this is because the hair was more like a ginger tone and I didn't realise but my client told me this so I fixed it. So now I'm doing like the different shading, I got like an airbrush brush up um, and I'm using the little finger blending tool which you can see highlighted and I'm just painting in different highlight colours and then literally smudging it out um, and I've never used this tool before and I thought it was really really handy actually I liked how it could create a softer shadow and just add a little bit more dimension to the colours than like a flat image so yeah very impressed with myself doing this for the first time What I also do is I make sure that I do things in different layers so if I do something wrong I can easily delete it. So these smudged areas are all in a new layer um, so then if I do something wrong I can rub it out without affecting the layer underneath. This is something I've learnt via using Photoshop and stuff and I still do forget to make new layers sometimes but it's definitely the easiest way to avoid making mistakes. Um, you can kind of see that I'm shading underneath the chin, some shadows on her face and then I'll do the same on his face. So I'll just speed this up so you can watch that in fast. You'll be able to see now that I've changed the hair colour to more of a gingery strawberry blonde colour and then I just decided to do the halo effect um, and I did the little leaves. I was debating doing flowers but I didn't want to like push myself too far for the first time I'd ever done this. So I just did these little green leaves and I realised as well if I wanted to do holly I could do two little dots and just change the shape of the leaves so I thought I'd be really cute. So that's what I sent to the client for like the second round of reviews to see what she thought um, and she really liked the hair colour and just asked for me to darken the beard on the boy's face so now I'm just adding a texture so I'm just adding a new layer of this concrete texture image I found and I'm changing the layer properties to overlay and then lowering the opacity until it was what I liked and I really like the texture this added as you can see now I've zoomed in you'll be able to see it um, now I'm just changing the beard and I went a really weird way about doing this, I don't know why, um, but because I'd already saved this as a flat image out of my iPad I just decided to use Photoshop to adjust it. So all I'm doing is using the magnetic selection tool and literally darkening and changing the colours using the hue and saturation button um, because I figured that was easier than me dragging it back into Procreate. I don't know whether it was but you know I did it in my own little weird way so now I'm just adding the text underneath so I'm using the pen tool and I'm just mirroring the shape of the banner that I drew um, and creating a path 
and I'm not putting any fill on this path at all because I'm going to click the text tool and you can type on a path um, and you'll see the little thing that I'm pointing to now it's got that kind of symbol on it so all I'm doing is writing Maria and Cameron and I'm making it larger and then I spent ages trying to find a font that I liked um, I kind of wanted something simple and flowy and kind of like handwriting style and I probably could have drawn this myself but I wanted it to look a little bit more professional and I'm still kind of perfecting my hand-drawn writing things so yeah I kind of went backwards and forwards with a few different fonts as you can see it took me a while to find one that I really liked like I thought I liked this one and then I last minute changed my mind so you'll see I changed it again <laughs> These fonts, by the way, I just download them from free open source websites. So if you are like in need of extra fonts, I'll leave a list of font websites that I use below. Um, and this is a font I went for in the end. The only thing we changed was that she wanted the and in the middle to be an ampersand rather than a plus sign. So I changed that. Um, and now I'm just using a mock-up that again, I found on an open source free website and I'm just dragging in the completed image and pressing save and then there it is in the little mock-up and I decided to add a background so I just dragged in this background that I made for another client previously also on Procreate and I just changed the saturation so it wasn't as bold and I think it looks really nice so this is what I will be putting on my Instagram if you aren't already following my design Instagram please do I'll leave the link on screen um, but yeah if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe check out my merch like I showed you at the beginning and yeah thank you so much for the support I'll speak to you soon bye <laughs>